Got my iced coffee, guys. It's almost gone. It's like a mocha. So yeah, awesome. Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about some frequently asked questions for girls who make beauty videos, and these would be girls who want to start their channel, or already have their channel, and just need some help and advice, and want to know different things. So I have some questions that I am from frequently asked questions that I'm going to explain to you guys and answer today. So I hope you guys like this, and this is not my um, question answer video about like beauty fashion and random. This is going to be like kind of starting a YouTube, and I did one of these videos a while ago, and I think it was pretty well received, at least I think so. So I decided to do one, and you could already have a channel and get some help from this, so I hope it really helps you out. Yeah. The first question would be how do you edit your thumbnails? And if you guys don't know what a thumbnail is, it's not this right here. This is not your thumbnail, although this is your finger thumbnail, but it's not your video thumbnail. Your video thumbnail is a picture, like a little picture that shows up um, to represent your video. So when you're scrolling through YouTube, you can see all these little pictures, and those represent people's videos, and they can be pictures of whatever you did in the video and stuff like that. So those are your thumbnails. And the way that I edit mine is I go to pickmonkey.com, and I can't leave a direct link and put like pickmonkey.com because I don't think YouTube lets you do it. So just go to pickmonkey, just type in pickmonkey.com. It's really simple. And then where I go from there is I upload my photos to pickmonkey and they usually have like collages. So you can collage your photos and I usually do like three. So I do three little sections of pictures and that represents my video. So that's what I do and you can also do like blemish fix. So if you took a picture and it was for your video and you happen to have like a a blemish you can fix that up you can also add blush and stuff but some of them cost so I just do the free way of pick months and I think a lot of people do use pick monkey as well because it's just very easy and pretty simple you can pay for it but I like to use the free version because I feel that it's just like enough for me the next question would be how do you make ear banners now for the original YouTube layouts that we used to have my friend Kelly like I created the banner and she helped me out some because she knows Photoshop and then we had the banner that I created that we created together and then I also had like a floral background and I don't know if you guys remember that but that was like my old one and now YouTube is formatting so they're switching to the new channel layout I know the new channel layout has negative and positive comments a lot of them are negative because you have to like create a trailer and everything and I'll get into that in a little bit later but you have to redo your whole banner if you had the other layout so I recently had switched over and I spent a long time doing my banner. I do know how to make banners, so if you guys really did need help on banners, I could help you out and just tell me what I want. Just, you know, I make it kind of simple. Mine is kind of simple. I have pictures on there and text or whatever. But what you have to do is you can type in like new channel YouTube layout and you can find like a layout picture of the banner, like the somebody's channel. So you can kind of like paste it or print it as or something. And then you can take that onto an editing site. So I use Pixlr.com, and that's a really good editing site for using banners. So I throw it to Pixlr.com, and I know what the size of is the banner because you'll get you guys will see it. And then what I do is add my pictures and text and everything from there, and then I upload that YouTube and make sure it fits. And if it doesn't fix, I'll go fix it. But Pixlr.com is awesome for making banners, so you guys should check that out. And if you need like a sample format, then I will throw one for you guys and you can use that for your banner if you guys need help and just message me if you guys need any help on your banners. The next question would be what you should have on your channel. So with the new format, you can have a channel trailer, a very recent video playing on your channel. So people can just watch that and if you really love makeup, you could have like a makeup video playing and then people will get introduced to your channel. So if you want to, I would recommend making a channel trailer. So it will play every time somebody comes to your channel and they'll know what your videos are about. So they don't have to be confused on which videos to watch. So that would be like what you can put on your channel. And as far as like what videos to film if you are starting out or you haven't made too many videos yet and want some ideas, I have some. I would suggest creating a video that kind of like explains what you're all about. So if you really like makeup, you could create a really nice makeup tutorial and put that up there. And you could do like a what's in my purse video. My first video was like an outfit of the day. Outfit of the days are always really good. So I would suggest like one of those videos. And if you guys need any more help, you can always message me and comment. So the next thing would be lighting. And I use natural lighting. I don't have studio lights or cowboy studio lights 
maybe someday I will get some kind of studio lights, but for now I just use natural lighting. So I have to film between the hours of like 9 or 10 to like 3 o'clock. I cannot film by my window because the background in front of like behind me would just be my closet and you guys would not like that. And you can have a lamp in the background but I don't leave this lamp on because I feel it adds like a weird orangey tint. So I would just recommend doing that. If you can afford to use lighting then you can but you can also get some like inexpensive lamps at like Walmart or Target and have those kind of like facing at you if you're doing a video at night but I don't really film at night because I just don't film at night. It's always really dark if I film at night. So the next one would be video quality and you guys do not need a super super HD camera. You don't need one of those fancy like cannons, like the, the fancy fancy cannons. I don't think you need to spend like eight hundred or a thousand dollars on like a really fancy camera and stuff if you're just starting out especially and if you're trying to save your money for you know like from a job or something or for college or whatever then I recommend getting a camera that is nice and affordable and that works. Probably one that can do like widescreen because my camera does widescreen but the camera I used to use was a flip camera and flip cameras there was black on each side because they had the like different sizing of the YouTube video so there'd be like black on each side and I just couldn't stand that. So I used a flip camera until I got this camera and this is my second camera only and I actually really like this camera. It's nice. And I like the quality, it does HD, which is awesome. So if you can get a camera with HD, I recommend that. If you guys are using like a tablet or like an iPad, I don't think iPads and like iPhones and stuff record that good. And usually there's black on either sides because it can't format with the YouTube video quality these days. So I definitely recommend doing that. You can use like a webcam if you're just starting out. If you really want to make videos, just find a way to do that. You can maybe borrow your family's camera or a friend of yours or something just figure it out because if you really want to do it then I would recommend trying it out about the people who say that you need like the really expensive cameras to make videos another one would be to make friends I love making friends I think that's awesome I feel like my subscribers which are you guys that you guys are all my really good friends and that we could just hang out and have a really awesome time because you guys are loyal and you watch my videos consistently so you guys are great and I love you. Another one would be upload frequently. So I try to upload pretty consistently at least twice a week, sometimes three if I can, if I have like videos like pre-recorded. Um, I really like to spend a lot of time like editing my videos and making sure they're really nice. I'm also going to talk to you guys about intros because that is something I really love doing as well. So the next one would be making fun intros. So you can make a little fun short intro to the beginning of your video and it can just show like what you're doing in the video or what you're going to show like a pan out of all your makeup products or whatever you're going to do in the video. So I recommend doing like a fun intro because I think it makes the video more interesting and just really cute and stuff. So you can do a fun intro because um, I used to not do intros at all for like hauls and now I do an intro like every single time. So you can do some fun intros and I think that'd be great. Make sure if you want people to check out your social media like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook or anything like that have the links so they can go straight to it because it takes a lot more time for them to type it in. So have all the links available so your subscribers or the people who are watching your videos can just easily click on the link and just go to your channel or just go to your YouTube, Twitter, whatever and just find you right away. So I would recommend that as well. Another thing would be try to make somewhat of an effort in what you are wearing. You don't have to wear like jean, fancy jeans and like a really fancy top. Like you can wear pajama pants or sweatpants on the bottom. It's totally fine. If you're not filming a fashion video where you're showing like what pants you're wearing that day, then I recommend wearing sweatpants or shorts. People wear like Christmas pajamas once in a while, you know, like hey, got reindeer socks on. If nobody's going to see like your socks or your your pants like that day because it's like a uh, outfit of the day showing your pants or whatever then you can totally wear your pajama pants as long as you're not going to do a fashion video pajama pants unless it's like a pajama video in that case you can or if you're doing like a pajama kind of question and answer video because I've seen those before you could totally wear your pajamas as long as they look cute and fun and stuff like that by trout I mean like a trout fishing like live bait and tackle shop you know you probably don't want to wear that in your video but hey whatever you want to do go with the flow I guess so those are my tips hopefully this helped you out and I will have my other video I will try to link my other video down below as well with the other kind of tips because 
that is more about like starting your channel. This is more to kind of like help your channel out and help you guys with figuring out the new format. And if you need any help or questions, just send me some messages or comments. I'm really into the creative and editing process on my videos. So just message me anything you have down below and I will reply to you guys on that. I hope you guys like this video and that it was helpful in some way. And if you guys are starting any channels and you are starting a channel and some of my tips helped or you're going to use some, then you can send me a link to your channel and a message and I will go watch it because I think that'd be cool to see. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!